you so much my name is gdfx we are back again and today i really want to show you the indicators the combined indicators that i've used and i've been using for sometimes now to make money on forex trading and uh, this indicator is so super in my previous video i dropped something and uh, many people some are showing me their profits uh, why some are still finding it difficult to add up the indicators some are saying that the parameters you're using i can add to mark this in one place that is not acceptable that some say that what i use that uh, uh, what i did is not is not done and I want to show them that it's possible. And secondly, because I wanted the video to be short, so I have to split the, the indicators into two. The moving averages in separate place and mark this in separate video. So some are saying that I'm greedy. Some are saying that uh, greediness will not allow me to release it. I've never charged anybody for in strategies before. And I will not do that. I've never charged if I have... If you have ever paid me for for you to receive a strategy from me, no matter how the strategy is, you can come up to the comment section and be sincere to yourself and tell the world that I have charged you that you have paid me any any amount to receive strategy. I have not done that. So if I am greedy, I will not be dropping the videos here, right? So in this video, I'll be adding up the indicators, especially for newbies those who are joining this things new and those who are in it already but they don't know how really these things works so that is what i want to do so i want to be fast to see how far we can go and um, each time you want to drop a video on youtube uh we are dropping a video on youtube we have some positive things in mind one is to make sure that every forest trader who don't really have access to mentors that will teach them some are in the rural areas some are busy some don't do this so sometimes they may not have the opportunity to go to classes and most time the classes that some forest traders receive are just i will just say it's not practical it's just a theory or something of that nature so they draw things on the board show them how to market but here they watch the real movement and they enjoy it so in this video um i want to add the whole indicators together with you and for you to see how I am adding all those things together, you know, so that people will not think that uh, what I'm doing is, is not possible. So let's add those things together before you. Some say that you just show us what you have already, but you don't show us how we do it. So here I'm going to show you how you will do it. And let's start now. For newbies, the place you will touch to get to where those things are. Is here the F this place that is where you should touch so if you touch that place the journey begins so if you touch there you will see uh, main chart main chart so and I also want to apologize to some of uh, my subscribers and my followers my JDFS family members and uh, friends and well wishers please if my tongue is not that really clear to you maybe if I pronounce something is different from what you normally know, please. I am sorry about that. And you should know that we all have different tongues, okay? So I am not doing it purposefully. Without you, I am not here. And without you communicating, my dropping videos on YouTube is a way. So if you are having a challenge in that, so I, I suggest you should try to use subtitle. If you, if you use subtitle on your videos, it will help you to be pronouncing those things I'm saying so that you can be reading it. It will go extra mile. The YouTube provided the options there. So you can type that place you see CC. If you add the CC, you select it to your own country. If you're in an English country, you select English. If you're in uh, Africa or whatever, in, depending on your country, you select it. It will help you to be translating my voice on your language so that you will be knowing the English I'm using. And another thing is that some English that um, the terms that are found in the forest uh, indicators can may not be conversant with the word that they normally hear 
or say every time on that place so please bear with me each time you hear about this sorry that i talk too much okay all right so the first one we are going to add is the moving average the moving average this one that is the one we'll be adding and we have started adding now so the first one you should add you know the other one is 14 but this time let's add with 12 the other one is linear weighted but let's add exponential all right so these are the little changes we shall be having in it so and you see that only adding it and this one now have appeared so this one now have appeared so let's to add again you touch this place again this is where you'll be touching as long as you are adding it to the main chart and when it's time for you to add to the windows one i will also tell you what you would be doing okay so follow it squarely i don't want this video to be long so we'll touch again and this time the period you just change it if you change it you are having an opportunity for it to drop i change this one now 14 i use the same exponential then i have to change uh, the color i have on my distance so let's add a kind of red exponential i add it have you seen it it has appeared this place then i touch the same f plus again on the same main chart then i touch this place and this time i want to add 16 instead of 15 so this is what i have now then but this time now i can change the color like this then i will touch the f plus again then this time i will add 19 instead of 17 i will add instead of 18 i will add 19 then the color you can also leave it or change it they are doing basically one thing then each time you finish anyone you press done uh, okay then i'll add the same remember all this i'm adding is still the same moving average then i'm adding the same moving average again this time i am adding 21 21 i am changing my color to ash 21 you press done have you seen it how many do you have now one two three four five have you seen it so it's remaining one so this time now i will be adding 26 i'll be adding 26 then i will use my best choice of color have you seen it let me show you what you have on the screen have you seen it have you seen it have you seen how i have just added those things now that is how simple these things can be but the leading line is this gold line the line is this gold line are you seeing it this one so let me change it to this one so that it will be visible which is the 12 then change this one to this one look at it have you seen it so the green line is the leading line now can you see it this green line now is a leading line now since we have something like this now how are we going to do it now then let's enter into the MACD. Remember that the previous time I separated the videos, the MACDs into separate times so that you will have so that you will have MACD separate video and have a uh, moving average separate videos. So some people misunderstood me. Some people said I'm this or that, but that is not my business. But this time I want to combine the two video the two indicators so that this video once you have this video you have the whole indicators all with you all right now let's to add the macd which is going to be on a separate window what you need to do is you touch on the same f plus here all right so i touch it this time anything you have in this place any of these things here these are some of these things that cannot open anything you see here may they cannot accept to open on the main chart so what this means is that any of these things you touch here now will open a separate window if you touch if you touch here and touch any oscillators here 
it will open a new window. If you still touch this place again and touch oscillators, it will still open more windows. So if you touch that place 200 times and touch this place 200 times, it they will continue to open new, new windows. So get that into your mind. All right. So now what we shall be using, as you see it in the other video, is the this one, stochastic oscillator. So in that stochastic oscillator, I will be using one here. I'll be using one here, one here, one. Then I'll be leaving this thing on low high. Then this place is supposed to be simple. The other video I used simple, but here now, based on the this thing now, so I'm using exponential. Okay, I'm using exponential. Then let me close it for you to see. Look at it here now. It has opened a new window, which is called indicator window one. And what I've just added on that window is this thing. So this indicator have these indicators have uh, levels. So the levels we shall be using is how do you add levels, please? For you to add levels, you have to touch. Normally, if you want to do this thing, you just have to touch here to delete in case you wanted to add and you didn't accept. You touch delete, then you press this two block line here. If you press it, if you press it here and touch here, it's going to wipe them out. But sometimes it may not happen that sometimes you have other indicators you don't want to delete along with those ones. You just have to touch the delete this thing and touch the one you want to delete so here you touch the plus one two three four five let's just put it that way so here you touch the zero side if you touch here it will have a different distance so here you touch here we have 90 you touch to the other one we'll have 80 we'll have 10 here we'll have Sorry, we have 20 here, we have 10, and here we have 50. Are you following now? This is how it works. So, for example, that you want to put 90 here, which means here is oversold. Here now is oversold if I want to add it, but I don't want to do that. It's of no use to me. So, because it's going to have a kind of combined distance there, so which is not what I need. So let me show you, let me show you, let me show you, can you see this thing now? Because sometimes you will add your own, it will look like this. Sometimes it will show something like this. Once you have something like this, the best thing you should do is for you to go back to your F and touch that stochastic oscillator. If you touch it, then you turn this place you turn this place to your background color black turn here to your background color black then you reduce this one so that the signals will not be the sign will not be showing there then you go to your levels and change this um you change uh, this thing here you change this thing let's see what will happen are you seeing it? Have you seen how it happened now? All right. So now, how then do you add the MACDs in those things? I'm doing this to respect one person that just humbled himself and opened up to me and others who have requested for this, but especially to that particular person. So please, I'm doing this for you. So MACD, this time now, instead of touching here, will not touch here. Okay? Let's follow. You touch that place. We'll not look for MACD. Here is the MACD. We'll touch the MACD. The full settings of MACD is this. The full settings of MACD is this. So, let's use something like, let's just use something like this now. And let's use this color. Let me show you. Let me show you. Do you see this? This is how MACD looks like. But here in this video, 
we want to silent this one and make it a background color i seen it then we can change this one to use this one as this have you seen it now have you seen it so let's move now so let's start adding up our magd i hope you understand what i did here now so we have 35 we we'll have 35 as the first EMA, then we we'll have slow EMA 14, then we we'll have 8 here as 8. We we'll have here as 8. We have this place as eight. All right. We have this place as eight. This particular place. Remember that this one here now will have 35, 14, and here is eight, not nine. Okay. Here is eight. Here is eight, not nine. So we'll save. Let me show you. Did you see something now? All right, let's move on. You touch the same MACD again. You touch the same MACD. You touch F plus the F plus on the window one. Then we'll touch it again. I'm just rushing to be fast. Then this time now we'll have 37, this time 37, 16, 16, then here we'll now have 10. This one added. You touch on the same F plus again. Remember we are using the same color. We touch on the same F plus again, the same color. This one, first EMA. We'll now use 36, 36, then here we use uh, 15, and here we use, um, here we use 8, the same color, you save, ah, sorry, let's add the MACD again, here we use 35 sorry i don't know what happened let me add it again yeah we'll use 35 we use 35 we use 14 we use 14 and we use 8 we use 8 oh we use typical price here let's use typical price here Okay, this is the first one, please. Sorry about the, sorry about this thing. This is 35, 14, 8. The second one is 30, 37, 16, 15, 16, 10. Let's use typical price, please. Add typical price. Here we'll add typical, typical price, not close. This one will have 36, 15, 8, typical price. Then this one will, will have 8, 18, 36, 18, 36. Then we'll now have 9. Here now, we we'll change the color. Let me show you. Are you noticing something here? Will not change the color. Have you seen how the thing started compiling? Good. So this time again, we'll add on the same F plus on the window one, on indicator window one. 
we'll look for my ID again then we'll touch here this place instead of 18 now we are now adding 16 this place instead of 36 we'll now add 37 then we'll leave it on the same okay here we'll add 10 typical bright the same color we'll add it okay we'll add it look at it here okay let's go again we'll look for the magd this time 14 this time 14 uh 35 here 35 mm, here 8 here 8 then we can change i'll change the color to use this as a signal line i add up again then the final one i use the final one i am adding up now is the magd uh, 15 the magd 15 36 and the 8 then Have you seen it? Have you seen how the thing works now? Have you seen it? So, as this thing entered into this place, as this thing entered into this place, your TP is here, first TP is here. That is, all of them moved together. Your TP is here. All of them moved together. Your TP is here. So this is how the strategy works as I've discussed about this strategy and it's uh, very much acceptable to everyone. So try this and call me back and give me the testimony of how it has worked for you. As all of them touched the 10 levels and start a journey here, you can be able to make the profit and the profit which you're making can feed you. Always remember that what happens on your lower time frame is as a result of the present market in the higher time frame. So don't joke with these things. The next video I'm going to be dropping, I will be trading with this very strategy for you to see how effective and accurate this strategy can be. My name is GDFX. I just want to drop this indicator to clear the air so that you will know that I don't have any intention of hiding any strategy from anyone. Some people have already received this very strategy and I want you to succeed and stand out once forest trading is consigned. Manuel GDFS signing out.